guys, this is the new Xiaomi 13T Pro with optical Leica lenses and of course, two Leica authentic styles, okay? How good is the camera? Let's find out in this video. What's up guys, Jason Smash Pop here and before we dive into how good the camera system is, I want to talk about the specs a little bit, okay? The screen is actually 6.67 inch AMOLED with up to 144 hertz frequency and the battery is 5000 milliamp with fast charging 120 watts okay and that also means you can charge from 0 to 100 in 19 minutes only crazy right let's talk about the camera now so the camera system is quite amazing you get a 50 megapixel main camera which is 24 millimeter wide and there's also a Leica telephoto camera which is 50 megapixel and a Leica ultra wide camera which is 12 megapixel now the front camera is 20 megapixels okay so based on my experience although there are two Leica styles I actually prefer the Leica authentic because the contrast is a little bit higher and it's less saturated which is like more natural to me okay so let's take a look at some of the pictures now <music> Okay, so as you can see, the photos truly look amazing, okay, because why? Because I picked the authentic style, ma. I didn't pick the vibrant saturated one, okay? I like the UI, okay? This new UI actually is a lot easier to use and uh, if you look at the pictures just now, I actually realised that the photos are very sharp even though if it's ultra wide, all the way to the telephoto lens, okay? And of course, there is this portrait mode that I really, really was very impressed of, okay? As you can see the photos, right, the cut off of the background and also the subject is very sharp. Like my hair, I can actually see every strand and the whole shape of my head, okay? Which is very impressive. Now when it comes to video, okay, this thing actually can shoot up to 8K, which is not many phones can do, okay? But there's a limitation whereby when you shoot 8K, you can only shoot at 24 frames per second, okay? And if you shoot 4K, you can only shoot 30 frames per second. So take note of this limitation, yeah? And before I talk about what I think about the video recording, let's check out this video first. So like what I mentioned just now, the stabilization is really good even for photos or videos, okay? As you can see, the videos were very stable. Now, if you switch to the Pro Mode, the Pro Mode actually you can do for photos and also video. And of course, if you want to do video, you get access to Lock Mode. So Lock Mode is almost like a raw photo, but this is for video whereby you can actually use all the details in the file to re-edit and apply your own filters and lights to make it truly your style, okay? So as you can see here, it is very nice and it's also very easy to edit. But of course, nothing is perfect, right? There's two little things that I would like to tell Xiaomi or complain to Xiaomi, right? The first thing is, there is no macro mode. I couldn't find the macro mode here, even though I go to more, there's no macro mode. And if I switch to like the ultra wide to do macro mode, it does not go very near, as in the focus distance is kind of far, okay? And of course, the second thing is, there's a telephoto, which is 2X. I think in year 2023, 2X is not enough. Huh? We need to have at least 3 or 5X, okay? So next one, maybe the Pro 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 version, give us 5X. So that's my usage experience, tuber, try test, and also my sharing on the camera on the Xiaomi 13T Pro, okay? With optical lenses in collaboration with Leica. Now, if you love this device, it is coming out in Malaysia. Stay tuned to uh, Xiaomi's uh, Instagram, Facebook or whatever, you know, go check them out because the price, also I don't know because at the time of recording, they haven't announced the price yet. Okay, so that is all. If you love videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share this video with your friends and follow me on socials. My name is Smashbox and I'll see you in the next one. Yo!